All right, guys, check this out. Today we're gonna um, be working on order of operations. We're gonna be working on lesson eight dash two. Pretty much a continuation from yesterday. Really easy stuff. Most of you guys already know um, PEMDAS, which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. You guys have already learned this before. We know what to do first in our problem. So just gonna do a quick review, get through today, and then um. This should be a really easy week. You guys don't have any school on Friday. So, all right, let's start our notes. And remember, we need to be updating our table of contents. Just because I'm not showing mine in the video anymore doesn't mean that we're not updating them. And mine's updated right now. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and split my paper up. Remember, we're using the three fingers so we can do our Cornell notes. I'm not going to draw my line all the way down my page. Because I might get finished and have some room at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and draw the top part of my lazy eye. Then remember, on the left hand side is what's important. On the right hand side is our answers. So first thing we're going to start with is our lesson. And then our lesson is going to be 8-2 order of operations. Um, next thing we're going to have is our central question, which is how can you evaluate a numerical expression with more than one operation? Now remember, this is your guys' responsibility to go back and answer these essential questions. This week when I check your math notebook, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that and seeing who's going back and answering them. How can you evaluate, evaluate a numerical expression with more than one operation? And the way we do that is we use PEMDAS. And I'm going to try to make this colorful so... Let me see what colors I got. This is my red. There's my red. Green. And then I guess we'll go with purple. So our first question is going to be, what is... M DOS. Well, PEM DOS is the order of operations we need to follow when evaluating expressions with multiple, more than one operation. So it's basically our order of operation. The P stands for parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And I also color coded them for a reason. Multiplication and division are both green because they're considered like best friends. You're gonna do whatever occurs first left to right. Same thing with addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and define this. P E M D A S PEMDAS is the order of operations we Need to follow when evaluating, and that just basically means solving our 
figuring out. Expressions. With multiple operations. So one or more. Operations. And I highly encourage you guys, if you have your crayons, if you have um, colored pens, if you have colored pencils, if you have highlighters, go ahead and do your notes like I'm doing. Maybe not do the same color, do whatever design you want, but add some color to your notes so they're easier to catch your eye and easier to remember. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight order of operations because that's actually a vocab word from our book for today, okay? So the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out parentheses, or what does P stand for? And when we're talking about parentheses, we could also talk about brackets, because sometimes we'll have parentheses inside of a parentheses, so that would give us a bracket, but we always start with the first parentheses, the problem inside that very first parentheses, and then we work our way out. And parentheses are very, uh, very simple. They look pretty much one way. An example would be two times five plus three. Okay, and we would do. Let me see if I got a color. We do red. And that would be our first step. Okay, so moving forward, the next thing we're going to have, so we're going to have exponents. So after we work the parentheses, we're going to go ahead and we're going to have exponents. An example of an exponent would be five to the second power, maybe 10 to the first power. Three to the third power. And exponents are our second step. And after that, we're gonna have two things together. We're gonna have multiplication And we're going to have division. And some really easy examples of multiplication would be 5 times n, 5 times 3, or 5 parentheses 3, which means multiply. Some examples of division, we could have 5 divided by 1. We get a five slash one. We could have five over one. Or we could have the long box, five divided by one. And then a little side note from these. Is multiplication and division are B F S best friends forever. Which means whichever comes first right 
I'm sorry, not right. Left to right is what we saw first. Okay. And our next step would be addition and subtraction. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm skipping a line. Addition, subtraction. And we all know what this looks like. This could be a 5 plus 1, or this could be 5 minus 1. We are already know if addition and subtraction look like, okay? But the same rule applies here as above with multiplication and division. Multiple, oh, I'm sorry. Addition and subtraction. and subtraction are B F S which ever comes first left to right is solved first. Okay. And finally, I need to go ahead and extend my notes down a little bit. Because I want to do an example. Actually, let me redo this. Let me go ahead. I'm going to close off my notes and I'm going to do an example outside of my notes. So remember, I'm going to draw the bottom of my lazy eye now. And I'm going to write summary. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do an example on the next page. Now remember, you guys might already be on the next page, depending on your handwriting, depending on your spacing, and that's fine. We're just going to keep going. Try to follow my format to the best of your ability, but my format isn't always the only format you can use, but we're using the Cornell Notes format. Okay, so I'm going to come over to page, to my next page. And I'm going to do an example. Bear with me for a second, because I want to go ahead and just turn the camera. That way I don't have to hold my page in a fold. A little upside down, go like that. All right, and we're good to go. And my pencil, all right. So my example is gonna follow a hint. And the hint I'm going to start with is is right Pim Dos next to problem in the margin. And I kind of didn't leave myself enough room to write inside of that bubble. But that says write PEMDAS next to problem and the margin. So the way that would work is I'm going to start with a problem. And my problem right here is going to be 3 divided by parentheses 7 times 6 divided by 3 minus 4.
Now I'm going to start P E M D A S. Okay. So first thing I'm going to work in this problem. So I'm going to work my parentheses. Okay. And then I'm going to rewrite my problem. So I'm going to have 3 divided by 7 times 6 is 42. Divided by 3. I'm sorry, this is, this is a plus here. 3 plus 42 divided by 3 minus 4. The next thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to work my division. Well, first I'm going to check for any exponents. And I don't see any exponents. So I'm going to mark that off. And I need to mark off, I already did parentheses. I'm going to check for exponents. Next thing I'm going to do is multiplication and division. But remember, they are BFFs, so I do it from right to left. So my next step is going to be division. And 42 divided by 3 is 14. So I'm going to write my problem as 3 plus 14 minus 4. And I'm going to check out multiplication. I'm going to check off division off my PEMDAS. My little quick check on the left on the left hand margin. Last thing I need to do is I need to add and subtract from left to right. So my first step is going to be 3 plus 14. And 3 plus 14 is 17 minus 4. So my final step would be 17 minus 4, which is going to give me an answer, an answer of 13. And then I need to just make sure I did all my steps. So I checked for addition and I just checked for subtraction. And that is an example on how we work this problem. Okay. Now guys, we always aren't going to have all the steps. Like in this problem, I didn't have exponent, but I still checked for it. I didn't have multiplication, but I still checked for it. So a really easy way in a hint for you guys to do is go ahead and and line up on the left hand margin next to that problem is do PEMDAS. It's important that we do the steps and then we rewrite the problem. That way we can keep track and we can find our mistakes if we need to check our work. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. I know this was a longer video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys, have a great day.